Brother Neil here, and today we're trying the all new Lay's flavors from China chips. It's January 2022, and just ahead of the Lunar New Year, which this year falls on February the 1st, Lay's Canada has released two new chips inspired by flavors from Lay's China. We've got cucumber versus chicken and tomato. Let's do this junk food junction showdown style and crack these two bags open, show you what they look like, do that quick sniff test before we tell you how they taste and pick our favorite. You might have seen these two flavors before at your local Asian grocery store, but now Lay's Canada is making them right here and it says on the bag, made in Canada from domestic and imported ingredients. For these cucumber flavored chips, every 50 grams has 9% sodium. It says refreshing, flavorful, and delicious. Let's crack open this cucumber flavor of Lay's chips. You may remember last year we reviewed the flavors from India chips that Lay's came out with, inspired by their counterpart. And we did a bit of a comparison with the Lay's Canada versus the Lay's India chips. Have you tried cucumber Lay's from your local Asian market? This is what the made in Canada version looks like. It looks kind of like a sour cream and onion chip. I wonder if it's going to taste like one. Let's go in for a quick sniff test. Uh, oh my gosh. Wow, those smell like a cucumber moisturizer. And I think we have tried the version from China before, which we found at our local TNT market. Well, this is the made in Canada version. By the way, we paid $1.88 for each bag, but we had a coupon for a dollar off when you buy two together, making it only $2.66 for both bags. Here we go. Lay's Cucumber Flavors from China going in. Hmm. Wow, that's all right. I guess they are refreshing. You don't get too much of that dill seasoning that you would get from a pickle chip. But man, if you ever wanted to have cucumber breath, these are your go-to snack. They really are refreshing. They're a little bit sweeter than I remember the Chinese version. I kind of remember the one that we had from China tasting a little bit salty. Now let's check out the chicken and tomato chips. Wow, we were really excited about this flavor. But we noticed on the bottom here that these chips are sweetened with sucralose, sugar, and dextrose. Here's a personal note to Lay's from your friends at Junk Food Junction. We'd prefer if it was just sugar all the way. Not really a fan of the artificial sweeteners. But let's see what we're up against here in the chicken and tomato chips. For every 50 grams, you get 12% sodium. On the back here, it says sweet, savory, and crispy. And this are what the chicken and tomato flavored Lay's chips from China look like. Wow. Kind of looks like a barbecue seasoning that we would get here in Canada. It's going for a quick sniff test. Okay, it actually kind of smells like a barbecue chip with that tomato base going on. Hmm. These smell like they're going to be very interesting. Let's try them. Flavors from China. Just in time for the Lunar New Year, it's chicken and tomato going in. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> that is really, really sweet. I don't know how to describe this flavor to you, but the closest description that I can give this is that it tastes like the spaghetti that you would get at Jollibee. 
like a really sweet tomato sauce. Filipino spaghetti. If you've ever had it, you would know. Between the two, I think I'm going to pick cucumber for the win. I'm really surprised. I thought I would pick chicken and tomato all the way, but that little bit of artificial sweetener at the end that just remains on your palate kind of leaves a funky taste in your mouth. The cucumber one, which was refreshing, just like it said on the bag, gets a total Brother Neil thumbs up. Wow, flavors from China? Maybe we should mix them together. Maybe. Wouldn't you love to have some cucumber on your chicken and tomatoes? Oh yeah, don't do that. We'll see you in the next chip review right here on Junk Food Junction real soon. Brother Neil hoping that Lay's Canada brings out more flavors from around the world. And out.